More than 2,000 years ago, around the year 300 BC, Aristotle made the first written reference to bioluminescence. He noted that some things seemed to glow with an unnatural fire. He also realized the important detail that they were able to glow without producing heat. This cold fire is what allows animals to glow for extended periods of time without much toil on their bodies and without using much energy. Bioluminescence is caused by the chemical reactions of two chemicals, luciferin, a light-emitting biological pigment, and luciferase, an enzyme. Named from the Latin lucifer, meaning bringer of light, these are the broad titles for the elements of a bioluminescent reaction. Each species has its own type of luciferin and its own type of luciferase. Luciferin is the fuel for the reaction, but it must be mixed with luciferase to create enough light to be visible. Luciferase acts as a catalyst for the natural processes of luciferin, which releases photons of light as it oxidizes. Animals use bioluminescence for various purposes. Some, like fireflies, use bioluminescence to catch the attention of a mate. Some deep-sea fish use bioluminescence to attract prey, or to give off light in order to see. Some sea creatures even use it as a self-defense mechanism. Similar to a squid releasing ink, they release luciferin and luciferase separately, which mix in the water. This causes a glowing distraction, allowing the creature to get away safely. Animals can either produce their own luciferin and luciferase, or develop a symbiotic relationship with luminescent bacteria, which they grow in a special organ within their bodies. These deep-sea anglerfish use these glowing fishing rods to attract prey. They live hundreds of feet beneath the surface of the ocean in pitch darkness. This zone of the ocean is too deep for light to reach, and the only illumination comes from the glow of bioluminescent creatures. Like a light bulb attracting bugs in the night, fish are overcome with curiosity and go up to approach the lure where they are snatched by the hungry anglerfish.